the Cleveland Cavaliers just humbled the Celtics. The game was tied as the Cavs ended the first half on an 11-3 scoring run. The Cavs looked much better compared to game one of the series. Their all-NBA defender Evan Mobley led them in points so far as he had 15, while their star-studded guards Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland only combined for 11. But Mitchell was helping his teammates get open looks as he was passing the ball around and did not assist. Mobley was also did not assist and obviously rebounded, which he does best. Karis LeVert was stepping up since Darius Garland wasn't doing much of anything so far, as LeVert had 12 points points off the bench with both teams tied up 54 to 54 but the Cavs were way more active in the paint as they scored 36 of their total 56 points in the paint while the Celtics only had 24 points in the paint to end the first half and were doing what they always do which is letting the roof from downtown as they had shot 17 threes in this first half but only got six of them to go down both teams had a lead of nine points at one moment in this first half before it all got tied up by halftime but on the Celtics side, Tatum looked like he was off to another bad playoff start as he was 3 for 10 from the field and got a majority of his points from the free throw line as he had 16 going into the second quarter. Both Al Horford and Jalen Brown had around 10 points, but the Celtics bench didn't really contribute much compared to the Cavs as LeVert alone had more points off the bench than the Celtics as a whole. Donovan Mitchell fires the three and then on the next possession, Garland knocks down the three. And a few possessions later, Tatum takes a bad shot which leads to Isaac Okoro taking the ball in transition and dunking it down to put the Cavs up by five as the third quarter got underway. Donovan Mitchell continues to get his teammates going as he throws up a lot for Mobley to jam down. And Mitchell then drills a three as the Celtics are starting to get a little stale on the offensive end while the Cavs are starting to get a flow going offensively and seeing their shots going consistently as they're on to a 10-2 scoring run late in this third quarter. Garland drills his third three of the quarter as he's caught fire in this quarter after a slow start. Celtics force a turnover but Cavs get the ball right back and Levert hits a jumper as the Cavs continue to pour it on in this third quarter. Derek White cuts the lead down to 9 but then picks up his third foul of the game after following Donovan Mitchell on his shot attempt from 3. Tatum turns the ball over and Donovan Mitchell drills a 3 to put Cavs up by 14 which is their biggest lead in this game so far. Celtics cut the lead down a bit but Donovan Mitchell hits a 3 over Jason Tatum right as the third quarter came to an end which gave the Cavs a 12 point lead heading into the fourth quarter. Donovan Mitchell and the Cavs as a whole were really catching fire at the perfect time in this game. The Celtics miss all 8 of their 3 point attempts in that third quarter. Donovan Mitchell hits another 3 and the Celtics finally get a 3 to go down after Peyton Pritchard hits 1 for them. And the second half just continued to be a showcase of scoring from Donovan Mitchell as the Celtics had no answer for him and couldn't stop him if they tried. Max Schroes instantly fires a 3. The Cavs have been showing lights out in this quarter as they lead by 17 with 8 minutes to go in the game. Fast forward some Evan Mobley is back in the game with 5 minutes to go as he now has a playoff career high in points. The Celtics continue to shoot terrible from the 3 while the Cavs continue to overwhelm Boston's defense with scoring while also not letting up anything on the defensive end. Cavs have made 10 of their last 15 threes while the Celtics missed 16 of their last 17 three-point attempts and the Cavs get a blowout win in Boston after getting contributions from their bench players and starters and head home to Cleveland for a game three as the series is tied up.